Hey everyone, Colleen here and welcome back for another video. And this is a fast with me, sans kids. And I usually like to do my filming while the kids are not here so I could focus on them. So this one has no children, but if you wanted to see a fast with me with my kids, I will link it right here so you could check it out. So I'm nice and fresh and ready for the day. First thing I'm gonna do is my to-do list. I have a lot of things floating around in my brain and I need to transfer them to paper so I can see everything I need to do, priorities, and so I don't miss anything because it's easy for me to just overlook things. So before I start my day, I wanna get adorned with some jewelry. As you can see, I'm a little bare. I don't like being bare. Like I need any jewelry in my life. And luckily for me, Anna Luisa hooked me up with six pieces. Now, Anna Luisa is a jeweler online. They sell really cute, affordable, handcrafted pieces. They have like an upscale look without the upscale price, which I love. They come in these cute, carbon neutral, sustainable packaging. I'm tired of plastic. This first piece is the Rebecca necklace. What's wonderful about this is it's 14 karat gold plated because I like longevity in my pieces. Next up are these 14 karat gold plated Nava earrings. These are actually little huggies. I wanna have my entire ear just blinged out. I also got another set of huggies. This is the Cody huggies. The Cody's are really cute. This is the niche necklace gold plated all around the necklace i love i love my gold like jamaicans jamaicans love their gold this would look really cute with my top today these are the tia medium gold earrings they are 14 karat gold plated i have been a hoop girl since high school and is there another way it's light it's not heavy i love that this is the rope slim ring I wear a size nine ring. No matter how much weight I lose, like my joints are just big. <laughs> but Anna Luisa came through with the size nine ring. I just think she is so cute, especially when you have a fresh mani. So if you're a lady with big fingers, Anna Luisa has sizing for you. Go ahead and check out Anna Luisa. They're having an awesome 20% off sale. And if you click the link down below in the description box, it'll take you straight to the pieces and the sale. Cop some while it's hot. I really just elevated my look. Like jewelry, magical. Binky ring right by 250. Can't trust these. They be iffy. <laughs> you could trust me though. You could trust me. I will definitely be getting more pieces from Anna Luisa because I love, I love them. I especially love this. This is a look. I'm still sleepy. So a lot of you ask me, what do I do on fast days as far as exercise? And on fast days, I like to take it easy. I will do things that won't really be too stressful to me. Fast days are just like a day of rest or a day of peace. I have come to the conclusion that exercising on your fast day does regulate hormones. And the hunger hormone is one. Um, feel free to Google more information on that, but a good workout on your fast day seems to cut cravings amazingly. I'm going to do some yoga. My body, my body is stiff, is stiff. I need, I need to loosen up, <laughs> okay? I need it. What I'm gonna do is roll out my workout mat, and do 45 minutes of yoga with my favorite, Steve Ross. And if you know Steve Ross, right? If you know Steve Ross, way back in the days, back in 2011, right? Steve Ross was on the Oxygen channel, 6 a.m. doing yoga workouts for an hour program. I used to, at 11 years old, wake up 
at 6 a.m. to do yoga with Steve Ross. And here I am at 32 doing yoga with Steve Ross. And Steve Ross is, Steve Ross is dope. I love that guy. His programs have amazing music. He used to be Russell Simmons' yoga teacher. And if you know, Russell Simmons is heavy into veganism and holistic healthcare and yoga. And that's a lovely exercise to do on your fast day. Also Pilates. Pilates is lovely for toning, strengthening while stretching and um, walking. A lot of times I get most of my physical activity on my work days, but today is not a work day. But I will easily rack up over 10,000 steps at work. Well over 10K steps. Yeah, we're just at peace today. We looking cute. We looking cute. If you're interested, these two pieces are from Amazon, amazing Amazon. And I will link them in the description box below. And this cardigan, I love. It's an oldie but goodie from H&M. Ta-da! Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Inhale with Steve Ross. You know, now it's your whole class if possible. Or if you're very advanced, you can hold your breath. Yeah, you want. What you do? Reach up. And exhale, come all the way forward. Bring the hands flat down on the floor. Get down. And up, up, up. And push back. Down, work up. I don't want somebody loving everybody. Come on down. And up. And up. I said, do you want a revolution? Swing it up into the fabulous bridge or wheel. Try to keep the feet straight. If the feet turn out, it's okay, but it's much better for your spine to keep the feet straight. Breathe very deep. Breathe while you're here. If you're a girl, you can rock back and forth. If you want to be a girl, you can rock back and forth. Long, slow, deep breaths. If your attention wanders, just keep bringing your attention back into the room, into this moment. You can always focus on the sensation to help that happen. And joy and happiness and relaxation. And as you exhale, you let go of any tension or stress or fear or worry. Do this a few times and then drop it. It's a nice practice. And bring the palms together. Namaste. everyone, I wanted to take this time to talk about our mental health. Many people on a weight loss journey really genuinely think that they have no discipline, that it's them, that they're the problem, they have no self-control, having very self-defeatist mentality. And in the words of Lisa Romano, who is a coach on YouTube, right? She has a saying, it is not you, it is your programming. It's, it's not you. There have been so many things wired into us since childhood, and that's why childhood is always the first 
part of healing because there is so much wiring that takes place during those formative years of growth. A lot of bad habits, a lot of trauma, and trauma is a spectrum. Trauma could look like being a latchkey kid, meaning you have to let yourself in and out after school and you're home alone until someone shows up. That's trauma. That's almost abandonment. All the way to sexual trauma. Trauma is varied, but trauma is trauma and it also goes into your programming. Habits such as clean your plate. Habits such as if you were in a home where food was scarce, you're not sure where you're gonna get food from again, and you have a scarcity mindset, you wanna hold on to whatever food you can. Those are all wirings. There's so many things that happens to the mental during childhood, and we grow up. We grow up and nothing changes, because a lot of us don't even acknowledge or comprehend how much those things have affected us and we bring it into adulthood. When it comes to weight loss, you will never be successful until you address why you're overweight in the first place. And this is where radical self-awareness comes in. Brutal honesty with yourself comes in. I, I get a lot of comments saying I failed on my, my, my first day fast. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why I can't make it to one day. I get it. I get it. It's We're wired to eat. That's what we do. We're humans. You're not going to break how many years of daily eating in two weeks. That's not normal. And that's why in my beginner's video I said build up. Do 16-8 then go to OMAD, 4-3. There's a buildup. You, you can't beat yourself up unless you have the sheer determination to get to where you wanna go. That's fine, but that's normal if you fall off. But there's an aspect that is so important, and that is your emotional connection to food. And when you're fasting, the beautiful thing about fasting is there's nowhere to run. You cannot hide. And when you feel yourself succumbing to hunger, hunger, I put quotes around that because you're not hungry. When you feel yourself succumbing to cravings, that exact second is the time you need to say, what am I feeling? What's going on with me? What am I trying to run from? What am I allowing food to cover in this very moment? The root of all weight loss whether you're fasting, whether you're doing keto, whether you're low calorie, whether you're Weight Watchers, whether you're nutritious, the weight, the root of all weight loss is your mentality, your emotional awareness, your emotional stability. Food is a crutch, food is a comfort, food is a blanket, food is a security to many of us. At age 10 is the age I started to gain weight. I was overweight at age 10. Guess what else happened at age 10? My parents divorced. Food ended up being something I can depend on in this very shaky time in my life. And I have been battling weight ever since age 10. If you are looking to be successful in any weight loss journey that you decide to undertake, it is imperative that you address your traumas or you will be back. You can lose 100 pounds, 150 pounds. You can lose 15 pounds. You can lose 30 pounds. If you do not undertake your mental health, address wounds, clean up what's under the rug that you've swept there, release yourself from toxic environments, disengage from toxic people, you're going to gain the weight back. And I'm sorry to say that. If you've undergone weight loss surgery, it's just a matter of time before it comes back because you have skipped an entire journey. At least when you're losing weight, naturally, you're learning about yourself. But when you skip that, learn that journey process and do weight loss surgery, the mental has not even accommodated for this new lifestyle. You're just, it's going to be right back to square one soon. And it's unfortunate to say, and I don't want that for you, but I need you to understand this crucial part of weight loss that a lot of people overlook. It is the most overlooked 
yet most foundational part of weight loss to me in my eyes it is two-thirds of weight loss two-thirds of you being successful getting to the dream you that you wish and desire isn't really addressed all that often and I know that there's a new program Noom that is addressing the psychology behind weight loss and that's great because that's really what it is healing of mental health looks like therapy journaling I journal three pages a day three pages it's not a large book it's not an essay and journaling what journaling looks like for me if something is bothering me right I talk about it if something makes me happy I talk about it anything that's on my brain I'm going to put it down on paper three pages worth if there's a day that I truly have nothing to say I will still journal but that day will be for gratitude. I'm going to write 10 things I am absolutely grateful for and why. Dear Lord, I am so thankful for the sun because it has provided me vitamin D and a happier mood and I love the warmth. Number two, and so on and so forth until I reach 10. Gratitude has absolutely changed my life. This book by Rhonda Byrne, the creator of The Secret, the, the Law of Attraction book, she made a book called The Magic, and it was life-changing. I will link the book down below. That book created the Colleen you see today. That book changed my entire life, my entire mindset, my entire viewpoint, how I talk to myself, how I see others, how I see the world, what I have. I'm so grateful for the little things that the big things just humble me that's what that book did for me the Colleen you see today was created from the magic and ever since then I've been on an uplifting spiritual journey and it gets better every day every year all this to say that the most important part of your journey is the mindset beyond the mindset you have to understand why you do the things you do and that's why I encourage journaling to the nth degree because you're not gonna know until you start looking at what's going on you need to look at it you can't just be like oh yeah you know I'm stressed now and I guess that's why I eat stinker bars you need to write it down what you're feeling why this happened how can I fix it how can I do better what can I do for myself to help deter this behavior with fasting you are unable to run from the issues and that's why a lot of people are unable to make it through their fast days because they need that comfort the comfort is what makes you feel warm and fuzzy on the inside when you are stressed, bored, um, lonely, sad, frustrated. There's so many things that food covers that fasting pulls back. And so many people are not ready for that. I was ready for that. And so that's why I was so successful on alternate day fasting. I was already prepared for that. I'm gonna say it again. It is beyond weight loss. It is not just weight loss. And if you think of it as just weight loss, you're also setting yourself up for failure. The superficial will only get you so far. Just like if you found a beautiful man or a woman to date, that only goes so far where it's the substance. I had a lot of healing to do. I had a lot of addressing to do. I had a lot of self-awareness to tackle. And doing all that put me in a place to help you. You think I just came on here and be like, oh yeah, my calorie deficit helped me and now I'm gonna help? No, this is beyond weight loss. This is life. <sighs> Today is Monday. I feel like I need a nap and then I will still go to sleep early because how do I feel now? How do I feel now? I feel, I just feel sleepy.
when you have sleep debt it's hard to pay it back so you might as well just do it on time owing sleep does not feel good but i feel so great after that yoga <gasps> I'm going to feel, I always feel it the next day. Muscles that I didn't even know I possessed hurt the next day. It never fails. I need to do yoga more often. That's what it is. I wouldn't be so uh, crippled after yoga sessions if I did yoga more often. But let's see. Ooh, ooh. Yep. This is it. Cheers. Oh, you know what? Let's take it with my D3K2. Some water. It's UPS. Dun 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 So I took a crazy nap. That tea was really good, by the way. I enjoyed it with the apple cider vinegar, which kind of tastes like lemon. So um, feel free to add apple cider vinegar to your teas. It tastes good to me. And it has a lot of benefits as far as fat burning and digestive system benefits. It's currently 6.16 p.m. What I had on my to-do list, oof, I wanted to do my nails. I could still do my nails, actually. I wanna do my nails, but first I'm gonna go prep for work. I have to be at work for 3.15. So let me pick something to wear to work tomorrow. Honestly, sometimes I even like think of what I want to smell like first and then kind of pick an outfit off of that. Not even gonna lie. Um, what do I want to smell like tomorrow? I'm in the mood, honestly, for some strawberry pound cake. Yeah, I might go with strawberry pound cake. Yeah, I might go with strawberry pound cake. I'm in the mood to smell gourmet with this cotton candy body wash. And this sweetie right here, this is Victor and Rolf's Flower Bomb Nectar. All the sweetness, all the sweetness. I absolutely love it on me. It smells so sweet and good. All right, so this is the lineup for tomorrow's scent of the day. All right, so knowing this, now I'll kind of pick something. <laughs> I could wear this. What would I wear it with? Okay, I think I found what I'm gonna wear. Really comfy and cute. I really wish I got a medium. Yeah, these are those athletic jackets I've been collecting. I have one in navy, black, white, and this blush color they're just really comfy and cute the tops are from amazon and these bottoms are from pretty little thing so yeah this is definitely the look for tomorrow i feel really comfortable super comfortable i even like it with this bra underneath like i think that's cute i love that so this is what we're gonna do I even love it with these necklaces, but I don't like wearing too much jewelry at work. Shut up, day. You know, I don't give up, cause I shut up, day. You been throwing that back in the first place. Uh uh. uh, uh.
Uh-uh, your birthday. Pinky ring, we're about 250. Oh my god, why can't I get that stupid song out my head? I like to get my devices charged up for tomorrow. I have to get my bag. Just throw these things from the other night back into here. I have my wallet, my keys. That's about it. <laughs> Colleen is ready for tomorrow. So I just spoke with my kitties. Um, I miss them. Can't wait to see them. Right now, I am just planning out tomorrow. Tomorrow's to do's. Tomorrow's a feast day, so that's fun. Um, just come home and eat what I have. Yeah, but as you can see, I kept myself very busy. If you can't handle being up for a fast, go to sleep. Sleep is always a great time travel machine. Get you from point A to point B painlessly. Go ahead and be active on your fast days. Find support any way that looks like. If you have support, you are more than blessed, truly. If you have a spouse that can support you, that is not sabotaging you, that's not questioning your motives, you're blessed. If you have a friend that checks in on you and keeps you accountable, you're blessed. If you have a community or online forum that you can turn to for support, you're blessed. And take care of yourself, self-care, Yes, you see me using products and smell goods and, and sprays and gels and creams and lotions. It is also deeper than what you see visibly. That is taking care of yourself. The act of taking care of yourself is truly self-love. You're putting yourself on a pedestal and that's, that's who needs to be on a pedestal is you. There's no spouse, there's no um, job, there's nothing that should be above you. And this is not selfish. This is making sure your cup is filled so you can pour and give to others. Paint your nails, read a book, take a nap, take a hot shower. Those things are self care and it should go in tandem with your weight loss journey because you wanna take care of all of you emotional, physical, spiritual, okay? No one is gonna love you as much as you love you. And everyone's love for you is only a reflection of how much you're gonna love yourself. Put yourself in the now, you are that person. You are her, you are him, you are that queen, you are that empress, you're that goddess. Speak life into yourself. I'm gonna go to bed. I pray you got something from this fast with me today. Thank you.